In this tutorial I'll make a panorama image out of two images. Normally they use three but in this case I'll only use the two. Now it's very similar to the recent one of blending two images for a web page. So uh, I'll close this one off. Now we go to open, open our first image which is the 91 up there, that's the uh, screen there. Load that one. Now I load the second image as a layer. So I open as layers and that's number two. Now I have my two images on board. I need to blend them a little or bring them together. Normally you would uh, take a f your images like for panorama in a with a tripod. Some cameras uh, have a feature that makes a panorama snapshot for you. What it does, it uh, takes a reading of the first photo and retains it for the remaining three or four photos you could take with your panorama. Well in this case here I didn't have a tripod, tripod and the camera doesn't have that panorama effect. But it, uh, we can blend the colours pretty well. So I'll just decrease the screen a little so using the plus and minus key on the keyboard so I can see what's happening. Now I go to my move tool and I'm going to move the active layer which is the top one and I move it across and reveal the layer underneath. Now I need to blend them to, or closely together. Now you notice the cloud there and this cloud here also. Well if I turn the opacity down a little I can see through that top layer and I can line the clouds up. Now because I didn't have a tripod the um, the images weren't in line. So in this case it's fairly close I think. Yep, that's about it. Now in the last uh, tutorial we resized the canvas or canvas size. In this case we've got a couple of layers and we can uh, ask GIMP to fit canvas to layers. We click on that one and it recognizes the two layers and blends them together. I just download the, uh, the opacity a little. Now I move my screen across, decrease the size of fraction just so I can see what's happening. Now I go to my crop tool and I grab the crop tool there and just crop it so it, the two images, you can see what happens when you don't use the tripod, the, the other images are slightly off, uh, off its plane. So I hit enter or hit click in the center of the image and it crops it for me. Now I go to layer and I add a layer mask. A full uh, white full opacity as normal. And now I go to my uh, paintbrush tool, grab a fuzzy brush and make sure you fade out because uh, the images will uh, be too heavy when you move the fuzzy brush across. So it's got to blend nicely. With that layer uh, boundaries on the screen, you can get rid of that by right clicking the top layer and image to layers, uh, layers to image size. And that removes it. Now you can see the two differences. I still have my uh, layer mask and it's still workable. And I just paint over the top there and blend them in, bring them into blend. Now because it's a fuzzy brush, it's been a little bit gentle on the, on the image. So you need to move it probably back and forwards a little to bring it, take that, that line out. Now the fuzziness allows you to, um, and the fade out, allows it to uh, blend in nicely. I could have used the uh, blend tool with a gradient but uh, I find this one is quite good because once you get down to here with the trees you can need to uh, you can see the sharpness in the trees just blend that up a little bit more that's got rid of that and there also now the trees are different that's what I mean with the camera if your camera does a panorama it remembers the settings for the first image and then once it goes to the second image you take or third it remembers the settings so you don't get this variation in color but with GIMP we can uh, we can blend them nicely together with that fade and the fuzzy brush so we just blend those in together nicely just nicely up there and you can see it all coming in together around the trees that's too bad that it blends it in a little bit better. 
So there we have it. That we, we've got a panorama. I'll just um, increase the size of the image by using the plus and minus keys. I'll hit the tab key to remove it and there we have our panorama. You can see a little bit more there. We can fix that up. Once you make the image bigger, you just keep blending it in because the, uh, the uh, layer mask is still there. Okay. I bring back my toolboxes. I right click the top layer and flatten the image. That brings the two layers together and there I have my panorama. Now normally if you print that out it would be printed out on an A4 sheet of paper which is not a true panorama but you could probably go to A3 a commercial printer and they print it out as an A3 image for you. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, rate the video and visit my channel you'll find a link with the instructions written out on how to use this one.